Hello there guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Let me just turn that down a bit again. Zoo. But anyway guys, welcome back. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you again for all the love and support on the last episode of the Fennet Fox. I had a really good time doing that enclosure. Um, I just felt it was something new, you know. Um, something with teeth that can bite you in the ass, if you ask me. Um, and yeah, and they were pretty cute as well, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of like a mini beach, um, which is cool. And yeah, hopefully you guys have guessed what it is today that we're, that we're doing. It was going to, I said it was a dog in that, in that uh, region. Um, so yeah, without further ado, we'll jump into it and I'll show you what animal I'm going to be adding today to the zoo. So let's jump back in. That's too loud. Way too loud. There we go. Like I said, guys, I have um, seen to all the animal requests up here when they get a bit agitated. And I remember I said uh, on the other episode I was doing ostriches and warthogs. Um, that would be probably tomorrow's episode or the episode after that. There we go. Let me just pause this. Yeah, I'm thinking of doing the ostriches and warthogs, maybe something like here. Get rid of the staff path. So in case we knock them down them two walls and we knock down this wall, we just do a massive enclosure like this. So they have all of that, all of that, boom. And that's what I'm thinking, guys. There'd be mud trails, there'd be sand, there'd be, oh my God, there'd be hills, uh, caves, there'd be everything. So yeah, we can always obviously do bigger and better enclosures. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to show you first what I've added quickly. Oh yeah, look at these in the night time. These coloured balls. Sounds a bit sus, my bad. But yeah, these ain't too bad. Um, oh yeah, I just want to say thank you for 18 subscribers. Um, Again, I, I don't want to keep saying how many subscribers I have every episode. But um, I just get so excited and so gassed about it, to be honest. Um... But yeah, so obviously we did this last episode. As you can see, one of them have gone out because it's just got a bit of a disease, it said. I need to put like a ball in here, I reckon. Yeah, I'm going to stick one in there quick. Again, that sounded great from me there. Let me, there we go. That looks pretty sick. Obstruction. What's the bloody obstruction? Okay, we'll just stick it there for now. There we go. So yeah, this enclosure turned out beautifully. Um, I haven't seen them use these holes yet. Um, but if I do, I will make sure to film it for you guys. Right there are these two here. Oh, and there's a third one over there. Yeah, so it is back. Um, but yeah, we'll just see. I mean, if they don't use them, they look pretty cool there. Um, so I'll just think about if I want to get rid of them. So... The improvements that I've made is I've just added this bit in here. Obviously, we know that the guests complain about the transformer, so we've hit it with this fencing. Um, bit of bush, bit of plant. Um, and yeah, so we've just added, you know, some stuff for the staff. So it's easy or easier for them to go get animals and put them into the vet care and all that stuff. And even bring animals, because this thing here... The trade center is where we get the animals. So yeah, I thought as we go further along in the episodes, we've got one all the way over there. We're going to have one here. And we're going to build our way up. So anyway, let's dive into the animal we're going to be adding. So we're not going to be adding another fennet fox. We're going to be adding these. The dolls. Now these, I have these. Or the dolls. I have these at my zoo. Um, and I think they're pretty cool if you ask me. Now I've read up about them. I know it tells you on here as well, like what they like. Um, but yeah, they they like all sorts. So they like foraging areas. They like uh, like landscape areas, muddy areas, and stuff like that. So we're just gonna mix up this enclosure. I've got a little plan in my head. Like I said, if you guys are enjoying these episodes, please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment because it helps out more than you know. Um, and it gives me feedback on what you guys like. So yeah, let's uh, crack on with it. Let's have a look at barrier wise. I might go glass again to match it up and make it look pretty fancy. If you ask me. What are these here? Well, ah, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go with the with the with this one today. <laughs> definitely gonna extend it as well. 
There we go. Like I said, guys, I do want to start adding music over this. Or over these episodes. But I think the Planet of Zoom is actually not too bad. As I say, it's quite soothing. Not too bad. But yeah. Uh, again, just thank you for all the love and support, guys. It means the world to me. Uh, it just shows that you guys are enjoying this episode. Or episodes. And uh, yeah, you guys are loving it, which is really cool. Which I love. We're going to make it quite big. Because I feel like, why not? Why can't we make it big? I mean, look at the size of the zoo we've got to fill. We've got a long way to go yet. I remember when I first started this series, I said to you guys, oh, don't worry, it's not going to be that long. It's going to be five to ten episodes long. We are, this will be number 11 episode, and we are, <laughs> we are nowhere near done. Which, uh, hopefully, you guys like that. I like the thought of that, that we are not done yet. Um, I don't think I'll ever be done with this game as in like just making new zoos in a way. We just do like certain zoos, certain, uh, what is it, certain um, enclosures and that lot, but I think for now, I'm definitely just loving this. This is just amazing to me. You just do what you want, that's what I love. You build what you want, you guys can get involved, which is cool. Just a quick question, who have ever tried the Morrison shortbread? Oh my god, man. It's amazing. A bit weird for me to bring that up, don't worry. I have to show you guys a picture of it. It's fucking going. So nice. Only £1.49 as well. Not too bad, I'm giving you guys tips as well, yeah, because I have a very healthy diet, but that is my treat. Uh, so I do like to treat myself now and then. Now look at this for an enclosure. Again, I am going to maybe just blur out the back. Just because we know what the animals are like, as in like they like their own privacy and stuff like that. Um So yeah, we're gonna We're gonna brick out the back. I'm happy with that. There we go. Not too bad. Just a normal kind of square enclosure with the uh like the waves there for the pathway. I mean I think that looks really nice, that bit really cool. I think this zoo is looking actually really amazing. Um which is cool. So obviously I read up about these guys. These guys like hilly areas, they like forage areas, they like all sorts to be honest. Um so let's see what we can build here. Again, I'm just trying to do my own little mark on on each enclosure. Trying to make them a bit cool and stuff like that. And do stuff that we both like, you know. And you guys can learn from me. That's why I'm leaving these episodes kind of unedited in some ways, you know. I've edited the start of the last one, which is quite cool. I'm liking that as well. That's pretty cool. There we go. Let's increase the size of oh yes there we go i hope you guys are having a great day though i mean i'm having a oh look at that i made a love heart i'm having a great day see i think that is a bit too deep though for like these types of animals i think that's good that's a good thing um but yeah i'm having a great day as usual I'm always having a great day just chasing my dream that's what you love to hear in it so that's why I push you guys to do it as well. To keep chasing them. I know it's scary, but uh, go for it. 100%. It's worth it. There we go. Now, I know you're thinking, that's quite big. It is. We're going to have a lot of these animals in here. Um, so I just thought, like I said, we're just going to get a couple for the start. And obviously they're going to breed and breed and breed. Um, which is good. Um, and because it says they like muddy terrain. 
I am going to move this area up a bit. There you go, how's that look? Not too bad if you ask me. Alright then. I'm happy with that. We can tweak it and stuff like that, definitely. Ooh. Oh, yes. I'm liking that a lot. We're going to do that again. Uh, just so. We could. Alright, intensity down to 60. Let's have a look here. Hmm. Intensity 100. Let's go down now. Two. Have a look, let's have a look. How are we looking? Let's go into the hole. Oh, that sounds bad again, my bad. Let's push that, push that, push that. Boop. Let me one sec. Ooh. You think I you're seeing this. As raw as anything right now. If I make a mistake, you go see it. Okay, I'm liking that. So what I've kind of done here. Again, I'm freestyling with it. Just seeing what we can create. I've got an image in my head of what I want. Oh yeah, I'm liking that a lot. So what I've done here is like a little pathway for them. And go in there, walk underneath. There we go, and walk out this side, which is pretty cool. We've got the body of water here, which is very nice. Oh yeah, we're smashing it right now. Right, sorry, sorry, let's go. Apparently they're like uh, hilly terrain as well. So we're just going to mix it up a bit here. There we go. Sorry if I go quiet again guys. I'm just trying to focus at the moment. Oh sorry. <coughs> focus at the moment. Anyway, let's go. There we go, I like that. So if you're if you're viewing that, that looks pretty cool. We're gonna add in the trees. Uh, let's mud it up a bit as well. You 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 guys probably think, oh it's the same every enclosure. No no no. It has that little touch. <laughs> that sounds bad. It has that um you know cool touch to it, just like this hilly bit here, just like I made a little cave over there in the last episode. So go check that out, that's pretty cool. And this is so cool, it's like a little maze area. So yeah, let me jump in with the trees now. See, I like trees like this for these types of animals because they come from like uh, Southeast Asia and stuff like that, from the forests there and stuff like that. So I thought we could add in the trees, add in the trees and make it stand out and pop this enclosure, definitely. Like, look at this. Public are walking underneath the tree. You see the animals in there. But my leg is healing up. Alright, guys. Um, I mentioned I was on crutches from football the other week, uh, the other day, actually. Um, but yeah, that's healing up. It's getting better. It's going to take a while, though. Apparently, four weeks. <laughs> very good. Not very good. Okay, I'm liking this. It's kind of looking like a forest. I'm loving it. I'm bloody loving it. But yes. Again, guys, if you are enjoying them, why aren't you leaving a like? And subscribe. You know, you better. You better. Alright then. Let's have a look here. Now adding all different trees. I'm absolutely loving playing this game. You can just literally build anything. Which I find sick.
trying to place them in a way that looks really cool. Um, I've got a little vision in my head on how I want them. Um, let's have a look here. Okay, let's go enclosure. Like I said last episode as well, I do want to start building my own enclosures, which would be pretty cool. I, I believe you can do that in this game. Um, but like I said, for now, we can, we can always build them later on. Um, we don't need to rush and try and get it finished. Uh, or try and get the enclosure built. I'll have a look off camera about them. And just see how good they are to build. So this is what I'm thinking, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me now. Give me a chance. I won't let you down. Oh, I'm going like them ones as well. So we could go... We could go one like there. So that could because obviously I'm I'm gonna want a lot of animals in this enclosure to be honest. I'm looking to get like a pack in here, which would be pretty cool. Um so I'm just thinking bear with me one sec. Uh there we go. I've gone quiet again. <laughs> Brilliant. Something like that. I like that. Then let's peel that bit up a bit. That's nice, yes. And then we could even have a look at that. This could go wrong. Oh no, it's gone right. Again, I, I've only just discovered this tool. And it is pretty sick if you ask me. So, let's have a look here. Uh, right. Oh yeah, that, that's pretty cool. Because it says as well, these guys like to like hide and stuff like that. I just thought, you know, we could mix it up a bit. And stuff like that, which is pretty nice. There we go. Not bad at all, that. I'm very happy with that. Let's add a few trees in here. I kind of want to leave that bit open. Let's have a look at tree-wise what we could add. Oh yeah, I like something like this. Apparently they like forest areas and stuff like that, so... Well, let's just chuck it in. See what it comes out like. Something like this would be cool. And obviously, if the public wanted to see them sleep, which is pretty creepy. Eh, not really. Uh, I'll put like a little bedding bit here for them as well. So, you know. Horrible thing. I mean, the smallest bedding you've got. The smallest one. There we go. Oh yeah. Guys, if you're liking this, subscribe. Look what you're missing out on. Me putting bedding into doll cages. Oh, the bloody game glitched out on me there. Right then, let's 
push this in a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, jackpot. Jackpot. Look what I've just done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's sick. We've got our two, whatever they are. That's sick. Yeah, I'm happy with that. They can just climb through there, have a sleep in there, come out this side if they want, jump in their beds. Let's have a look at what we've got to add in. You know, uh, toy wise, stuff like that. These creatures are really cool, though, I think. Ice block, blood scent marker. God, ice block. Blood scent marker. Again, guys, drop in the comments what animals you guys want me to put in. I'll be more than happy to stick them in because it's our zoo. You know, we're having fun with this. I think this is a real big enclosure for them. Uh, but yeah, anyway, back onto the Morrison shortbread biscuits. Oh my god, they're goaded. Them Texas barbecue Pringles. What the hell is going on here? Them Texas barbecue Pringles. Oh my god, they're goaded, man. Goaded, you don't understand. I'm craving them right now. Oh my god, these guys want a lot. You better get to, to work on this then. Small ball. Splitter again. Bubble mushroom. Let's go, let's go. Right, bubble mushroom. Oh, I guarantee they want more mud. Any money. Let's give them a football instead. Alright, we'll give them a beach ball as well. Uh, let's... Don't know what it is with me and sprinklers, but we're going to have a fight one day. We we'll stick the sprinklers over there, and a sprinkler uh, there. Let's take another bubble machine in as well. There we go. So the public can see and go, <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. Anyway. But like I said, I want to be adding music over this soon, guys. Uh, these episodes about like a cool like music backing track. Something like that. Tug rope. And a water pool. Tug rope. Tug rope. Tug rope. And a swimming pool. No, not a swimming pool. They want a pool. Yes. They can have a pool. They can have a pool right next to their house. Look at that. They ain't living a bad life, are they? Let's be honest here. Living a life of luxury. There we go. Let's mud this area up a bit as well. Just so they don't complain. Because we know what they're like. These animals in this zoo. I make it the best zoo in the world and they can't... They can't be happy, can they? There we go. That's looking nice. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with that. Okay. Let's have a look now. Again. It's going to be really unedited these episodes are. I don't think that's too bad though. I think we're having pretty good fun doing them. Bamboo feeder. Zebra pen pinetta. And a pinetta pronghorn. The hell even is that? But, fair play. They want them. They get them. Alright. Well, there's a zebra. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to make a family of zebras. Oh, look, nothing to see here. They're floating, which is great. That's what I wanted. Oh, no, yeah, they are floating. Ah, don't worry. Yeah, sort itself out. I tell you what, guys, I'm actually loving this, uh, these series and episodes. It's just great when you are loving what you're doing. That's why I encourage going for your dreams, guys. Because trust me now, when you do, open to a whole new world. Oh, I had a pumpkin ball in fair play. They won me over. Not even Halloween yet. Alright, let's get into the animal trading. Yes, sir. Very good. 
Okay, dog ball and a skittle feeder. Dog ball, dog ball, dog ball. Aha! That's a grazing ball. That's a dog ball. Yeah, we're a bit bare over here, to be honest. What else did they want? Let's see if I can remember. Or have I still got memory loss? No. Oh, yeah, I've completely forgot. Skittle feeder. Is it that? Then we ain't got one. So, have I really forgot? I don't think I have. Then have I? Hmm. Right then. Yeah, I think we're all good. I'm happy with this. Let's have a look how it looks like from here. Oh, yeah. We've got the little passageway here. They've got the two little uh, pools, if you ask me. They've got the family of Zephyrus. They got their little cave thing there. Nice bedding area, mud pit over here as well. Well, not mud pit, but muddy area. Um, yeah, have we got a thingy boy though? I don't think. Well, we haven't. What's going on here though? There we go. Let's add this in. Oh, bollocks. No, I want to delete that. Guys, this is class A content for you right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to be creating a vlogging channel as well, which is pretty cool. You get to see my life through the vlogging aspect and meet all my animals and uh, just do crazy things together. Days out. Having a good time, which is really sick. Um, and we'll have fun with it, yeah. Now I want a different tree. I want a nice looking tree. I uh, think I found my tree. There it is. And you're probably thinking, that's a lot of trees. Yeah, it is. But they like forests, so what are you going to do about it? Nothing. I'm an expert at this game, guys. I say it every single episode. I'm an expert. <laughs> Right then, let's add these up. So we're going to go to the two females. And we're going to go... Uh, yep, we put that one in. And we're going to go one of the males, which will be the younger one. Boom, boom, boom. Let's play and see what else they want, really. Where is the door? Is that tree blocking the door? I don't know. Alright. I'm going to make this bit a bit muddy as well. To be honest. Because obviously if they like forest areas, they're going to like mud. I mean, if they want sand, I'll stick a bit of sand in, bless them. But yep. Let's just mud that bit out. Um, yeah, if you guys want to shout out as well in the video, just let me know. I shall happily give you one. And feel free to subscribe and like because it's free. And leave a comment as well. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm actually loving this enclosure, guys. Look at this. Now, while we're waiting, uh, yeah, while we're waiting, I'll show you these guys over here. Here, there we go. There they are. I had the bamboo stick with the yeah, new bamboo stick. There we go. Oh no, it's another. There we go. Don't even talk about it. I'm not. Don't want to talk about it anymore. Where are these guys gone? Well, we've lost them again. Oh no, we haven't. There we go. Over the disco ball. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Whoa. They love it. Anyway, enough of them. Let's see if our animals over here have arrived. Look at this, yes, what an enclosure this is. I'm actually loving it. I think we're getting better and better each enclosure as we go along. I really think so. Like this, it's what you see an actual zoo got. I'm actually a professional at this game, I've got to tell you. You know, I lied. What can I say? Please don't come for me anyone in the comments. I am not a professional. I think the elephant enclosure looks great as well. 
All they do is sleep, though. Look at that. Listen, listen. Oh, that's really cool. Love that. Again, the rhinos are never over here. They are never here. They are always over here. Running over each other. Overlapping. Oh, oh, we might see a first. The rhino might be going over. See that? Oh, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to move you. Yep, yeah, I'm doing it, guys. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. I'm scheduling a delivery over there. I never see him over here. Come on. Or her. Yes, you've never owned this part of the enclosure before, have you? Oh, very nice. Just go in there. That's for the baby one, that's for you. Okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, no. What's this? Low welfare buffalo. We'll deal with you later. They're in. Here we go, guys. Oh, yeah, look at that. How cool is that? Oh, yeah, look. Oh dear, no, don't don't fall, don't die. No, it's not gonna die. That's great news. Like I said, it's massive enclosure for these guys, but if you do look where they live, Southeast Asia parts, you know, it's massive. Um and he's already taken out one of the zebras or zebras. I can't believe it. How could you do such a thing? We'll leave that one to walk. We'll see what these guys are doing. Have a look. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh that's that's brilliant. That's amazing. Oh god, please go down there. Please go down there. You just ripped my dream right there. Thanks for that. It's going up though. It's going up, it's going up. Whatever you do, don't walk here and fall into there. Uh, I don't think that'd be you know a good day for you. Oh yeah, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it there. Yeah, well, like I said, it is a massive enclosure, but they are going to breed. They are going to have um, babies and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it'll do for them for now. And then obviously, oh, yeah, look at this. You're seeing it first, guys. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's great. Now, the same for you, buddy. Don't jump off there and don't even think about walking there and falling. We don't want that. That is great. Absolutely love that. So there we go then, guys. That is episode 11, done and dusted. Now, obviously, I can add to this enclosure and um, just improve it in any way if you want me to. Yeah, I think adding three was great. So, yeah, let me just go ahead and pause it and save the game. I do not want to lose any progress I've just made because I would cry my eyes out and shit my pants if I did. All right then, so let's, let's, let's quit Planet Zero. Do let Yeah, anyway, let's quit it. Oh. Just a quick question as well, guys. I'll show you in a minute. This here, in the back. If you guys know what that's from, drop it in the comments, because obviously I'm a massive fan of this, this here. I'm not going to say what it is. But yeah, I'll leave you guys to think about that. Um... Yeah, guys, so there we go. That's a wrap at episode 11. I just want to say a massive thank you for all the love and support that you guys have been showing me recently. I see you guys out there. Seriously, I do. Um, and like I said, if you are enjoying it, leave a comment, leave a like and subscribe. And stuff like that. It is free. So, yeah, help me out, definitely. Uh, it'd be really cool. So, yeah, guys, yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you again. I know I've just repeated it, but uh, you don't sound like gas down that I'm not able to do this. You know, I'm just loving it at the moment um it's just great so yeah if, if you guys are liking it liking the content sons of the forest will be returning very soon and we gotta explore some caves as well and uh like i said that's just a holiday home so yeah but that's about another episode so yeah but guys if you like it please like and subscribe i love all of you guys and peace